Praise the Lord, everyone. Praise the Lord, everybody. yesterday a 16 year old girl baby shot dead going to a party a birthday party amen praise God can't even send your kids to a birthday party and I believe a 51 year old man was also gunned down on yesterday amen praise God this violence is out of control we just must go on ahead and admit it amen praise God it is out of control, and we have to go to the Lord in prayer. Does anybody agree with me on today that we have to go to the Lord, Mother, with Deacon? We have to go to the Lord in prayer. We're going to ask our pastor emeritus, but there are some specific prayers that we're praying for today. Uh, amen. We thank God for all of our sick and shut in. Of course, we're praying for all of our mothers. Uh, amen. Praise God. Uh, Mother Baker. Amen. All of our mothers. Amen. Mother Rose. Amen. Praise God. Mother Clark, all of our mothers who are uh, on the bell who are just uh, not able to make it, but we're praying for them. But we want to be praying for Deaconess Bessie Andrews, amen, uh, who is uh, going, a amen, praise God. As a matter of fact, uh, the daily, because I believe you, 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 yeah, yeah, I, I'm going to pray. I'm going to pray today because we're going to pray for you too. Because I believe tomorrow you're going for surgery as well too. Amen for your knee, for the other one. Amen, praise God. And God brought you out the first one. Hallelujah. Yes, he did. He brought you out the first one. And we're going to believe God for even a more speedy recovery in this one. Amen. Our, our songstress, she has a kidney stone. And we're praying that that thing pass. Come on, somebody. That it pass. We're praying for Sister Bessie. Listen, I'm just going to go ahead on and move in the spirit today. If you can't make it up, I don't want to ask you to come up pray amen praise god and we're gonna uh allow god to move in this place freely amen praise god amen hallelujah glory to god listen saints and friends this is the prayer house church of god by faith the one thing about us y'all we believe in prayers the effectual fervent prayers of the righteous the bible says availeth much Amen. So we're going to believe God. Is there anybody else? Is there anybody else? Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on. We're taking all prayer requests on this morning. The Bible says make your request known to the Lord. Amen. That's exactly what we're going to do today. The Bible, that's what God, the Bible says that we can ask for anything. Amen. In his name.
You are 
worship you. We 
we don't want to take it for granted, Holy Spirit. We don't want to take it for granted, God. Hallelujah.
many can agree with me and affirm that God can break every chain? He can break the chain of addiction. He can break the chain of lying. He can break the chain of having broken hearts. Chains of abuse and trauma. God can break those chains. He can break the chains of having a mind to want to do wrong. Come on, somebody. God can break every chain. He can heal you and deliver you from all sin and the weights of sin. Amen. How many know that sin comes with a weight? <laughs> yes, it does. But when you receive God into your life, he take that weight away. He said, take my yoke upon me and learn of me. He said, my yoke is easy and my burden is light. We thank God. Amen. Now, are you standing while you're yet standing? We ask you to join us in a word of prayer. Father, we thank you right now, God. God, as we come to break your bread of life, your word, to your people, God, we pray that you give us wisdom and understanding. We pray in the name of Jesus, God, that you will anoint us with your word. And most importantly, God, we need you to shape our lives. We need you to mold us and shape us to what you would have us to be. You are the potter, and we are the clay. Father, I decrease so that you may increase. Use your servant, God. I humble myself before you. I'm nothing. I can do nothing without you, God. I pray in the name of Jesus, God, that you would use me to speak a word that somebody may be set free, delivered, encouraged, inspired, empowered. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. While you're yet standing, our scriptures, amen, will be coming from Galatians chapter 5, 16 to 24 and John chapter 15, 4 and 5. Now, Galatians chapter 5, 16 to 24 in the NO Living, the Living Translation reads, So I say, let the Holy Spirit guide your lives. Then you won't be doing what your sinful nature craves. The sinful nature wants to do evil, which is just the opposite of what the Spirit wants. And the Spirit gives us desires that are the opposite of what the sinful nature desires. These two forces are constantly fighting each other, so you are not free to carry out your own good intentions. But when you are deceited, directed, excuse me, by the Spirit, you are not under obligation to the law of Moses. Verse 19, when you follow the desires of your sinful nature, the results are very clear. Sexual immorality, impurity, lustful pleasures, idolatry, sorcery, Hostility, quarreling, jealousy, outbursts of anger, selfish ambition, dissension, division, envy, drunkenness, wild parties, and other sins like these. Let me tell you again, as I have before, that anyone living that sort of life will not inherit the kingdom of God. But the Holy Spirit produces this kind of fruit. Somebody said this kind of fruit. In our lives, love joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, verse 23, gentleness, and self-control. There is no law against these things. Those who belong to Christ Jesus have nailed the passions and desires of their sinful nature to his cross and crucified them there. John 15, 4 through 5, our key verse is, Abide in me, and I in you. As the branch cannot bear fruit of itself, except it abide in the vine. No more can you except ye abide in me. I am the vine, ye are the branches. He that abideth in me, and I in him, the same bringeth forth much fruit. For without me, you can do nothing. If I had to have a topic for the day, it's striving to produce God's fruit. 
striving to produce God's fruit. You may be seated. Amen. Praise God. Saints and friends and those listening under the sound of my voice, bearing fruit is a phrase used to describe the outward actions that result from the inward condition of a person's heart. Galatians chapter 5, 16 through 24 contrast the works of our fruit of the flesh with those of the Holy Spirit. In our sinful nature, we bear things such as idolatry, jealousy, dissension, fits of anger in our sinful natures. We, we, it was interesting, we, on our Bible study on Wednesday, this scripture came up and it was interesting is I, I had this, this message way before uh, we had that Bible study. And, and it, was, it was just, it, it moved in my spirit because I said, okay, Lord, I had the, the John chapter five, verse four and five. And then when we read this scripture in Bible study, it kind of just moved in me as kind of a, 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 it confirmed that word, amen, praise God. Cause I had this message before then and it just, I just couldn't let it go. And he was like, no, you got to continue with this. It's so much in this, the fact saints and friends that we got to understand that, you know, we're, we're, we're constantly, constantly warring constantly warned. And, 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 and when we look at uh, the difference as we looking at how we are to strive, we got to strive. And we're striving. Look at that word strive. We got to work towards it, y'all. We got to work hard. We have to be intentional, saints and friends, uh, to strive to produce, amen, praise God, the fruit of God, God's fruit. Now, how many know, saints and friends, that there are different types of fruit? Mm, yes, we know we can just, if we just go into, amen, I like to go to, uh, amen, praise God, the, 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 the market, the public market, and look around and just walk around the public market and see all of the different types of fruit, the different types of vegetables, the different types of greenery and things that grow, amen, praise God. So we know that there are so many different types of fruit. But in this particular portion of scripture in Galatians, the man of God, the word is telling us, amen, praise God, that, that, that we're fighting, it says that we're constantly fighting each other. Mm -hmm. It's it, to carry out uh, our own good intentions. And we got to understand as Christians, uh, we want to, amen, praise God, we want to bear fruit in keeping with relationship with God. But the fruit of the spirit is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, self-control. We have to demonstrate these things as Christians. Amen, somebody. We have to demonstrate these things as Christians. We, we, we have to show that we are made new in Christ. In 2 Corinthians chapter 5, 17, it talks about uh, once we come into Christ, we have to be made new. Amen, praise God. The newness is, see, those old things have passed away. Those old things, as it was talking in the beginning of the scriptures, you know, that, that old nature, that sinful nature, that man that wants to do, that woman that wants to do whatever they want to do. Come on, somebody you know as soon as you was old enough to do whatever you want to do you would tell somebody quick I'm grown I'm grown some of us amen praise God saints and friends if we be honest with ourselves we we couldn't wait amen to get a certain age to be in our house we couldn't wait to get from from underneath our mother and father's amen uh, 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 tutelage and, and out of their control so that we can hit and go do whatever we wanted to do Mm -hmm. But saints and friends, we must understand that we serve in God. It's the opposite. We can't do what we want to do. Come on, somebody. Uh huh. We, 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 we shouldn't even want to do what the, what the flesh wants to do. As saints of God, as Christians, as people of God, we want to do what God wants us to do. Come on, somebody. We ought to want to have him or to order our steps. And the key to that, saints and friends, is that God, we must understand, and I have a couple of keys, and we're not planning to be before you long, but I, we got to understand that Jesus summarized the answer to the question in John chapter 15, 
4 and 5, he said, abide in me and I in you as the branch cannot bear fruit by itself unless it abides in the vine. Neither can you unless you abide in me. I am the vine. You are the branches. What Whoever abides in me, I in him, him, he is that bears much fruit. For apart from me, you can do nothing. Bearing fruit in Christian life requires that we must abide in Jesus. Oh, we got to make this thing clear. It is very simple to be able to bear fruit of God. You have to be able to abide in the vine. Come on, somebody. And, and we must understand something that we are not the tree. We, 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 we are not the tree. And my favorite scripture, I had to go back and look at Psalms chapter one. Somebody get Psalms one for me. And when you read Psalms, I believe it's around the third verse. It says that you'll be like a tree. Come on, somebody. Oh, it didn't say we were going to be the tree. It said you would be like a tree, <laughs> uh -huh. but we must understand and never lose sight of the fact of who is the vine and who is the tree and where do we get our nourishment from. Our nourishment does not come from ourselves. Oh, hallelujah. I know I'm right about it. <laughs> we, we, the Bible says without him, we could do nothing. Mm -hmm. And see, we must understand that because as we were seeing and as we were worshiping and as our worship leader was trying to tell us that we can't take this thing for granted. We don't know. Amen. Praise God. Amen. People that were in Buffalo got up that day. Amen. Praise God. They didn't realize going. They're just going to go shopping. I'm going to get some butter and some milk and some, uh, some ham. I'm going, you know, they didn't know that that day would be their last day. Every time. Amen. Praise God that we move around this planet that they call Earth. <laughs> We must understand that we have to be constantly abiding in Jesus because without abiding in him, we are out here naked. Come on, somebody. Without no power, without no uh, 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 covering. Uh, and what are you saying, preacher? I'm not saying those people wasn't covered. I'm just saying that gives you a reason not to take anything for granted because you don't know the day nor the hour. You don't know when your time is coming. So I'm, I'm trying to tell you today that you need to get in God and you need to abide in him. Come on, somebody. Yes. See, he answered the question. He said, if you abide in me, so you got to be in me. You got to be in me because you can't be in yourself. Because if you in yourself, the scriptures tell us what happens when we get in self. Oh, yes, we get to be, we get jealous. Yes, we do. If we be honest about it, we get jealous. When we walking in self, we get, I'm talking about walking in the spirit now. I'm talking about striving to bear God's fruit. See, we leave a lot of fruit. And I think back in the days, the, the spirit, back in the, you know, it, it, when, 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 it, when it had, uh, you know, uh, racism, of course, it's always going on. It's still going on. But I'm saying back, you know, in the days when segregation and all that stuff was happening, they would talk about strange fruit. Come on, somebody. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They would talk about strange fruit. They would make 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 it seem like, amen, praise God. And we knew that that meant that that that, that was something bad that had happened to a person of color. Come on, somebody. Uh-huh. So there was different types of fruit. There's good fruit and there's bad fruit. There's, there's evilness, amen. And that really was an evil thing, amen, praise God. But we know that there's good and bad and there's darkness, amen. And when people refer to fruit, it ain't always a good thing. But I'm referring today to striving to produce God's fruit. Uh-huh. I think we give too much credit to the enemy. I think we spend too much time talking about the bad things, the, the evil side of things. We know that racism exists. We know that there's jealousy. We know that there's idolatry. We know that there's all of these things. Amen. Praise God. The pleasures of lustful pleasures, impurity, sexual immorality. Amen. Praise God. Sorcery. How many know, amen, there's a lot of witchcraft that's going on? Oh, we might as well go ahead and call it what it is. There's some people that practice witchcraft. Oh, can I get a witness in here? Yes, they do. They practice witchcraft and they practice putting spells on people and putting curses on people and all that kind of stuff. How many know that the devil is real? I wish I had some help in this place. The devil is real. The Bible says he's walking around to and fro, seeking, seeking, looking to 
determined to find who he can devour. But I want to talk to somebody today that said the devil is a liar. I'm abiding in God. I'm going to abide in Christ. I'm going to strive to produce the fruit of God. Hello, somebody. I'm getting ready to close. Uh huh. He said, when you connect and intentional about our relationship with God, you got to be intentional about your relationship with God. Mm -hmm. This can't be just on Sunday. Can't be just during the week, one to two days a week. You have to be intentional about your relationship. Everything is relational. You got to be intentional about your relationship with God. Reproduce the fruit God cultivates within us. It is God who does the work in us. Our fruit bearing is simply a result of what he does. See, you can't take no credit. It's not you now, but it's God. Jesus said, you did not choose me, but I chose you. And I appointed you that you should go and bear fruit and that your fruit should abide. John 15, 16. Ephesians chapter 2, 8 through 10 has a similar message. 2 Corinthians 3.18 talks about us being transformed in the image of Christ. As the Holy Spirit, what, sanctifies us, we become more Christ-like. We begin to bear fruit. Mm -hmm. How do we build our relationship with God? Well, I'm glad you're asking me that. We do these things by spending time in the word. <laughs> See, you can't build a relationship with God and you don't read your word. That's like living with your wife and sleeping in another room. You can't build a relationship with God and not read his word. That's like, amen, praise God, trying to, to build a relationship, amen, praise God, and never talking to the person you're trying to build a relationship with. See, God only responds to his word. Come on, somebody. You remember when the, the devil tried to tempt Jesus? He tried to tempt him. Remember, he was trying to, what about this and what about, he said, no, 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 no. I only think about every word that proceeded out of the mouth of God. He said, that's the only thing that I respond to. I don't respond to you, devil. But I respond to the word of God. So we got to be intentional about building a relationship with God by reading his word and spending time in the Bible. We got to pray. We got to pray. We got to pray. How is your prayer life? When you talk about are you bearing fruit? Look at your prayer life. Do you only pray when something's going wrong? Do you only pray when you're sick? Do you only pray when there's danger? But do you pray? The Bible says we ought to pray without ceasing. The effectual, fervent prayers, the constant, constant prayers. I pray all day long. 365, 24, I'm praying in my sleep. Do any of y'all got prayer sleep? Oh, can I talk to some prayer warriors in here? Do you have prayer sleep? I pray in my sleep. I mean, I be sleeping and praying for people. Lord, bless people that come into my, I'm asleep now, and I'm praying. I know I'm praying, praying in my sleep. I wake up praying. God, I thank you for waking me up. God, I thank you for allowing my everything working. God, I thank you all throughout the day. I'm walking. You ain't got to be on your knees and in no closet and screaming and hollering, praying. You can pray all. You can pray while you're walking. I pray I'm in the car. I'll be praying. Lord, I'll, I'll be like, Lord, don't let no other car come over in my lane. Lord, uh, let me get to my destination safely. Uh, Lord, I'll be. I'll just be praying. I pray all. When you love God, when you got a relationship with God, you can't help but just keep on praying. Somebody said, just keep on praying. He'll answer you. Just you gotta just keep praying. We got to not we got to get in his word. That's key number one. You got to pray. That's key number two. And let me give you another one. You got to listen. Oh, we'll read the word. Mm -hmm. We'll read the word. We're praying, but are you listening? Because he will answer you. 
He will give you direction. He will guide you. But you got to have an ear to want to hear God. As you build a relationship, it's just like, you know, a, a husband and wife. He said the church is like the bride of Christ. It's a husband and wife. When a husband and wife, you know, sometimes your, your wife telling you something or the husband, vice versa. And oftentimes one don't want to listen. Come on now. Y'all know. Y'all look at <laughs> Mother, y'all know. <laughs> you know, sometimes one of them don't want, somebody don't want to listen. Right? And you know you're right. No, you're right, especially when it comes down to things like directions. You know, directions. You're in the car, say, honey, you know, you got to go this way. You got to go this way. We ain't going, we ain't got to go. That ain't the way to go. I know the way to go. I've been 25 years, I've been driving. Up. And then find out, and you know, I'm going to tell you about my wife. I'm going to talk about Willie. And I, I know, I've been 25 years, I've been going this way. I know where I'm going. She, she put them hands up like this here. And, I don't, and I'm all wrong. I, I, don't went, I don't went the wrong exit. And you know, come on, guys. We, you got to humble yourself. You got to humble yourself. And you know, they, she, and you get that. Uh -huh. she, just, she waiting for you to humble yourself. God is waiting for us to humble ourselves. And you can't be, don't be that type that you, I'm, I'm not even gonna say I'm sorry. Cause you know, we've been there too. Act like, oh no, this is just the other way I wanted to go. This is another way. It's faster. Trying to play it off. Nah, and you know you're wrong. See, that's what we do with God. God, we pray, we read our word, God tells us the answer and we don't go the way he tell us to go. Mm -hmm. And then we end up down the wrong road. Hello, somebody. Going down a dead end street. Ain't nowhere to go. And we got to turn. What did, what did he say? But you got to turn from your wicked ways and go the right way. But we got to be intentional. We got to be intentional. We got to be intentional about our relationship with God. We got to pray. We got to read our word. We got to listen. We got to worship. Worship God alone, and we got to worship with others. We got to fast. We got to give our time, our treasures. Now, treasures, that's money, time, and money can be, they both can be similar, meaning time is money, right? So your treasures, oftentimes, some of us don't have the same amount to give as others have, but I may have time to give. I can't give financially like a brother so-and-so or sister so-and-so, but guess what? I can give of my time. And God know what you have. He know you got time. You, you may not have no money, but you ain't got nothing. You ain't doing nothing else. You could do for God. That's fruit. That's how you bear his fruit, by doing for God, by doing things for God. You say, God, I ain't got no money, but I got my time. I got my body. I got my heart. I got my mind, my hands, my feet, God. I'm going to walk this street and tell people about Jesus. We went out Saturday morning. This Saturday morning, we went out Saturday morning. Me and my wife went on the street praying for people. Knocking, uh, knocking on doors, putting our fly, uh, flyers up. People was coming out the house. Man, they were so happy to see us. And we said, "What you?" They, this is what they said. They said, "What you do? What you, you what you running? You running for something?" I said, "No, I ain't running. I'm running for Jesus. I'm running for Jesus." So I want to tell me, tell me about your campaign. I said, "I'm campaigning for Jesus. I want to tell you about the Lord." And they said, oh, that's, I said, I just want to pray for you. Can I pray with you? People want prayer, y'all. They need prayer. They desire in prayer. And we're a prayer house. If we don't do nothing, oh, God, I hear God saying, we're going to create a pull up and pray. Pull up and pray event. We're going to have a pull up and pray event. When you just pull up, we're going to have signs. You know how they stand up with signs. God just get, you have signs that say, you know, give me money, feed me or whatever. We need some pull up for prayer signs. You can have a you can you can you can minister right from your house. You can write on a little sign, say pull up for prayer. And stand out front of your yard and just say pull up for prayer. And they pull on up and they say, What you got? Say, I got prayer for you. You want some prayer?
Come on, somebody. So they ain't like you can't do nothing. You can give up your time. And give up your time. We're talking about striving to produce God's fruit. Mm -hmm. Give up your time, your treasures, and your talents. Some of us have talents. We're sitting on talents. Sitting on gifts. Sitting on gifts. I'm, I'm running around the church. I'm trying to use, I'm using, I'm juggling the, this foot, that foot, this foot. I'm running the system. I'm preaching the word. I'm doing, I'm doing, I'm, I'm doing everything I can to do. Hello, somebody. But you can't tell me we ain't got no other people in here that got some talents and some gifts. Get up off of them gifts. Get up without God. You can't do nothing. I'm not, I refuse to leave here. And God said, well, did you, I, when I, I bet you I'm going to use everything I got. The toe, the hand, the arm. I'm a, I'm, if I could juggle every one, I'll juggle it all. If I could do the, if I could deacon and preach at the same time, I would do it. That's how much I love God. That's how much I give of God. I'm giving them everything I got. Everything I got, God, use me. Because he's been that good to me, y'all. He's been that good to me that everything I got is his. It belonged to him. I'm looking for what more can I do for you, Jesus? I'm sorry. I'm scared to ask it, too. I'm scared to ask it because I don't need no more. There's some things we can do, some things we, we do not do as to avoid positioning, poisoning the relationship from our end, including avoiding the lust of the flesh, described in Galatians chapter 5, 19 through 21. In short, we actively pursue God and flee from that which is sinful. Keys to producing fruit. One, we have to deny ourselves. You got to deny yourself. We are not the tree. We are the branch. We're not the tree. Some people want to think they the tree. Want to act like they in charge. You're not the tree. You're the branch. And I'm going to tell you, when, 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 when people get the pruning trees, they can cut off some branches. Some branches are dead. I don't want to be a dead branch. I, I don't want, I want to be an alive branch. The Bible says, if you lukewarm, he said, I'll spew you. I'd rather you're hot or cold. I don't want to be lukewarm. I want to be hot for God. I want to be on fire for God. Amen. Praise God. I want to bear fruit. I want you to see the fruit of God. Mm. Number two, we uh, have to stay connected to the fruit source, which is God. We can't bear God's fruit by ourselves. We have to build relationship with him. We got to build and cultivate the relationship with him. And third and final one, I'm getting ready to close. When we are totally committed to God, we should see the results. When you're totally committed to God, you should see the results. When you're totally committed to God, you should see the results. What are the results? The Bible tells us what the results are. But the Holy Spirit produces kind of fruit in our lives. Love is a result when you're totally committed and when you're producing God's fruit. I don't have to tell you I love you, but I got to show you. Because love is an action word. Zaire, he know I love him. Let me tell you. Zaire, I told Zaire, I said, Zaire, this one of our youth in our church. I said, look, bro, I said, next time you have a game, tell me when your game is. So his mother texts me. I'm just giving you an example. Mother texts me, said his game is this coming Friday. I had a long week, y'all. Long week. Picked my wife up. She said the game start at 530. I picked my wife up at 5. I, ain't, I, can't, I can't even tell you in my whole life when I've ever I've been to a game. You know, I, my kids didn't do they, they did other things. But so I said, where is it? It's in the round of quest. Okay, cool. Go out the round of quest. I figure we roll up. His game, you know, watch, be a few minutes or something. I'm an hour. Three hours. Three hours, I am my lane. Three hours. I sat on the ground. Come on, somebody. But I did it because I told him I would do it. Come on, somebody. And I got to be a man of my word. And I love, it covers a multitude of sin. And I got to show him I love him. I'm not just going to tell him. I'm going to show him. See, these young people, they want love. They want 
want us to show them love, real love. They don't want to just tell them, oh, I support you, I love you. No, you got to show that. That brother went out there, he threw it. I got him to stay to the end. I was, I was hungry. <laughs> that brother went out there, that brother threw that ball. That brother threw that ball, 40, 40. Wait a minute, I got it. That brother threw that ball 47, is it meters? What is that? 47.11. He came in second place, first place in the first round. Second place, this is only his first freshman time doing this. He beating them big boys out there, them big boys. That right here in our church, come on somebody. And he, he is he, he out there doing well in sectionals. Uh-huh. But when you carry the fruit of the spirit, all I'm saying is, saints and friends, when you carry the fruits of the spirit, love got to be one of them. And love is something we have to show, not just talk about. Yeah, you can say, oh, we, we love everybody, I love everybody, but you treat everybody angry and mean and nasty and, and talk to them any kind of way. That's not love. It's not love. When you got the fruit of the spirit of God, you ain't got to tell nobody you saved. They know you saved because of the fruit, joy. How do you be saved and walk around like you got a lemon in your mouth? How you love, how you got the best thing in the world, mama? God, Jesus, the King of kings and the Lord of lords, he got everything. How you be saved, sanctified, filled with the precious Holy Ghost and walk around? mean as a rattlesnake but the bible says you say you go by the bible right but the bible says joy joy of the lord is my strength i don't know about you mama but it ain't one day where i ain't got no joy i got joy hallelujah i'm glad about jesus i'm glad about this life i'm glad about this walk i'm glad about the choice i took one day oh god hallelujah when i came to god just as i was i got joy in my heart regardless of what happens regardless of my bank account regardless of what's happening in my family i got joy is there anybody who really loved god who really got the joy of the lord and you wonder why you weak because he said the joy of the lord is your strength so if you got hatred then you're gonna be weak See, I got joy, so I'm strong. Hallelujah. I'm ready to fight this battle. And I'm going to fight it with a smile on my face. Because you know why? Because I already know where I'm going. I'm going to heaven. I'm going up to yonder. Oh, can I get a witness in here? But I know where the devil ain't going. I know where he ain't going to never go, Joshua. He ain't never going to heaven. Oh, hallelujah. And he mad because we going. Can I get a witness in here? You see, I said we. I said we going. Can I get some help in this place? We going to heaven. Oh, glory. I got to get up out of here. Fruit, 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 fruit. Striving to produce the fruit of God. I'm striving. I'm intentional. I'm working hard at it every day because it's a fight. Because that devil, you know, in misery love company. That mean, nasty person wants you to be mean and nasty too. They trying to pull you to the mean and nasty side. Uh -huh. Some people like it a little nasty. Uh, I'm not going over there. I'm going to stay on the love side, mama. The love side. The joy side. The peace side. The self-control. Ooh, that's one right there now. Self-control. Some people ain't got no control. They fly off at a handle. Just go crazy. Fly off. That ain't God. That ain't God. God will have you be still. See, the storm, you can't change the storm, but you can change yourself. You can't calm the storm, but you can calm yourself. When the storm come raging, you can't change the storm, but you can change your position. And you can get calm, because guess what? You know that the storm eventually is going to roll over. Amen, praise God. So there ain't no sense of me getting all excited. Ain't no sense of me getting all out the way. I'm not the level of devil steal my joy. Love, joy, peace. I got peace. I walk in peace. 
Girl, pull over. I'm, I'm trying to close. Girl, pull over yesterday behind my car. Bloop, 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 bloop. Three, three, three women in the car. I'm trying to wipe my windows. She get out the car, three young girls. I said, y'all trying to talk? Y'all say something to me? She said, no. And I looked, her, she had a flat tire. I come in peace. So she had a flat tire. So I said, listen, there's a tire place right down the street. She said, you going to take me there? I said, no, I'm not going to take you there. That's not going to solve your problem. You're tired. She cussed me out. Cussed me. Yeah, I'm, it. I'm not riding my car all the way over there. I, and I'm from the east side. I said, you rode your car from the east side all the way here? I said, the tire place is right there. I said, so it doesn't make, so she came, she just was mad, mean, and cussed me out. This other guy was there, and he cussed her out and told her, well, take you behind back to the east side. <laughs> and so I got in my car, but see, I came, I didn't get all upset. I didn't get mad. I didn't create a fight, because I come in peace. No one let them get me out of place. I'm not going to let you get me out of pocket. I come in peace. And the enemy going to always try to get you, he going to try to get you out of, out of peace. But you got to abide in him, in the vine. He'll keep you in perfect peace. Whose mind is what? I got to be intentional. It's got to be stayed on Jesus. Woo, glory. I feel this thing today. I got to be intentional. So let me, let me try to get out of here. And so it's a joy, love, joy, peace, patience. Now we know people say, I ain't praying for patience. We hear, I ain't praying for patience. Kindness. You know, let me, listen, y'all. I'm trying to go past. Listen, be, be kind. Do you know how far it goes to just be kind to people? I'm kind to everybody. It don't matter if it's the, the guy, the drunk on the street, the guy under, I'm kind to, I try to be kind. Because you know why? Treat people like you want to be treated. The Bible says you're going to reap what you sow. So if you are unkind to people, guess what's coming to you? People are going to be unkind to you. And then you'll be like, why they talk to me and treat me like this? Well, how do you treat people? Mm -hmm. That's why you like this. Mad all the time. Mean as a rattlesnake. Ain't no joy in you. See, you can't draw nobody with that. Let's come on, tell the truth, church. Tell the truth, church. Don't nobody want to go. Why would I go be around that when on the street they smiling, they happy. They looking, they good. They, 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 they having a good time. But I'm gonna come, I want to be around, I want to be around that. Uh-uh. You can't draw nobody with that. Bible said he drawn with what? Love and what? Oh, there you go. Love and kindness. Kindness, goodness, faithfulness. People ain't faithful no more. Gentleness. You got to be gentle with people. I'm gentle with even everybody. Even, even people that's hard to be ungentle with. Y'all know we got people hard to be ungentle, hard to be gentle with. Yeah, we, 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 got, we, got, we got people that we know, not in this church though. But we got, not, in, not here though. But we got people with mental health problems. Not here, though. But we got people with mental health issues. They really do. They have a disability. And they don't even know it. But I still treat them with gentleness. Come on, somebody. <laughs> Self-control. Against there, there's no law. Saints and friends, Jesus summarized simply by saying, we got to abide in him. We got to stay in God. In my closing, to be sure, our focus has to be, as Christians, is not the fruit that we produce, but the connection we have with God. When we focus on the outward Christian life, we can become wrapped up in the pretense. It's all too easy to live a Christian routine apart from any genuine connection to God. We can fall into a trap of putting on a holy facade without experiencing real heart transformation. In that case, the fruit we bear is what? Our own and not of that of the Holy Spirit. And our hearts are actually lacking Christ's love. 
Bearing fruit in the Christian life is not about doing works or attempting righteousness in our own strength. Rather, it is about intentionally growing into our walk with Christ, inviting the Holy Spirit's work of transformation in us, and actively obeying God in all he calls us to do as we seek him and lay down our own fleshly desires for his better ways. We bear lasting fruit and serve as salt and light to the world in need. Uh, we see that in Matthew chapter 5, 13 through 6. Ye are the salt of the earth. But what good is salt if it has lost its flavor? Can you make it salty again? It will be thrown out and trampled under the foot as worthlessness. Ye are the light of the world like a city on a hilltop that cannot be hid. No light as a lamp and then puts it under a basket. Instead, a lamp is placed on a stand where it gives light to everyone in the house. In the same way, let your good deeds shine out for all to see so that everyone will praise your heavenly father. Right now in the name of Jesus, we ask if there's anyone, anybody, anybody who have listened to this word and, 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 and something in this word has encouraged you, something in this word has touched your heart, has, has, has pierced your heart. We, we, we know we've said some funny things, we've said some serious things, we, we, but this is serious business. Your, your soul, is, 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 is on the balance is at stake and right now this day this day right now you can choose who you want to serve if you want to bear God's fruit all you got to do is abide in him and if you come to Jesus just as you are it's not about your clothes your clothes doesn't determine whether or not God is in your heart what you wear where you live your statue in life, your financial statue in life, none of that matters to God. What God cares about is what's in your heart. He looks at the heart of a man or woman. He wants to know if your heart is clean, is your heart right? And you know if your heart ain't right. If your heart ain't right, God said, come boldly to my throne of grace. He wants to help you right now. He wants to change your heart. If you abide in the vine, Knowing that you are a branch, you can uh, bear fruit. If that's you today, if maybe maybe you, you find yourself in this word, you haven't been faithful of your time, you haven't been faithful of your treasures, you haven't been faithful of your gifts, you haven't been faithful of your talents, but you've been saved, but you've been lacking in some areas, God is just simply saying, now you can turn and you can get that right. You can, you can do better. We can all do better. But we got to turn and want to do better. Father, right now, in the name of Jesus, if there's anybody, we ask right now, God, that you would touch their hearts. God, we ask if they want to be saved, that they would simply, God, say, I, God, I need you in my life. I'm a sinner. I accept the fact that I'm a sinner. I believe that you died on the cross for my sins. I confess, God. you to call us, email us, send us a message on Facebook, in the chat, whatever. Let us know so we can continue to pray for you and help you and cultivate you. You're, we're stronger together than we are apart. We're stronger together than we are apart. But I just hope that something we've said today has encouraged you. And I thank God for you. May God bless you. May God keep you is my prayer. We're getting ready to log off of our online service. We're going immediately uh, we'll take a brief, brief, brief break while we establish and set up for our communion. But I think this was a good word leading up to that. Amen. Because we can't do nothing without God. Father, we thank you right now in the name of Jesus for everyone under the sound of my voice. God, before, before we move forward, we're going to do our offering. We'll have our offering first and then we'll pray out. But we're praying right now, God, that you would bless the hearts and minds of those who've heard this word. We're
praying as we bring forth our deacon to give our offering, God, that you will that you will touch the hearts of the people to give to this ministry, God. In Jesus' name. At this time, we're going to have our deacon come up, have our offering, and then we'll have our closing prayer for our online service. together again. We give honor to our pastor and his wife, our pastor emeritus and his wife who has returned from Florida, I believe. Thank the Lord for that. Praise God. Uh, we've heard a good word today and uh, we're taking it to heart. Uh, there's a song that we sing sometimes that says, I'm yours, Lord. Every, everything I got, everything I am and everything I'm not. I'm yours. Try me now and see. See if I can be completely yours. Praise the Lord. And uh, we want to give ourselves to God because he's given, given himself for us, right? He gave up his life that we might live. Thank you, Jesus. We thank God for uh, his goodness, all of his wonderful works to the children of men. We're here to raise the offering today to receive the offering. <clears throat> and we're going to ask each of you to give in faith, uh, believing God uh, that he will meet your needs, that he has, he has met your needs so far, and that he will continue to meet your needs. David said, the Lord is my shepherd. Hallelujah. The Lord is my shepherd. And I shall not want. Praise the Lord. I believe David was speaking in faith. Hallelujah, God. And uh, we've got to do the same thing. Uh, for those of you who are here, uh, you may uh, let the ushers know. Uh, they're here to serve you. And uh, you can give your offering to them. Praise the Lord. Uh, those of you online, you can download our church app uh, from Google Play or from iTunes. Or from the Amazon store. And uh, our name is Prayer House COGBF. Prayer House COGBF. Praise the Lord. Uh, for those of you who are giving by Cash App, our, our tag is dollar sign Prayer House 270. Dollar sign Prayer House 270. And for those of you who are using the US mail, you may send your offering to uh, Prayer House Church of God by Faith, 270 Cumberland, uh, sorry, uh, P.O. Box 30108, Rochester, New York, 14603. Prayer House Church of God by Faith, P.O. Box 30108, Rochester, New York, 14603. Now, if you want to uh, pray along with me for our offering, that the Lord will bless it. Lord, we thank you. Thank you for all, the, all you've done. Thank you for, Lord, multiplying your blessings to us. So many blessings, oh, Father, that we, we can't even count. Hallelujah. We thank you for it all. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, God. And, Lord, you said if, you, if we give to you, Lord, you'd open up the windows of heaven and pour us out a blessing that we would not have room enough to receive it. Lord, we'd have to give it away. Hallelujah. Give some of it away. Hallelujah, God. Bless us, Lord, according to your word. For this we thank you in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Deacon. And thank you, those of you, for your offering. Um, we're getting ready to uh, do our closing prayer for our online services. Father, we thank you right now for those who uh, continue to uh, visit and worship with us online. And we thank you for their households. We pray a special blessing over those, especially those who receive Christ, that you would touch their households right now, fill them with your precious Holy Spirit, and bless them till we meet again. And we give you the glory, the honor, and praise, oh God. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. And remember that we are a church where God is still working miracles. Amen.